News update for InfoLive TV. This is David Oman. The Middle East Quartet members, the UN, EU, Russia, and the US, officially announced the appointment Wednesday of outgoing UK Prime Minister Tony Blair as their envoy to the region, who will promote peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Blair will focus on garnering international support and aid to the Palestinian Authority under Abbas and assist in state building. The Israeli government, following a request from the Jordanian royal family, is due to discuss Sunday the possibility of transferring four Jordanian terrorists back to Jordan to serve out the remainder of their life sentences in a Jordanian prison. Seventeen years ago, the four killed two IDF soldiers in two separate incidents. In a meeting with NATO Deputy Secretary General Alessandro Minuto Rizzo in Brussels, Minister for Strategic Affairs Avigdor Lieberman discussed deploying NATO forces in the Gaza Strip in order to prevent arms smuggling into Gaza and maintain order. The two also discussed issues of intelligence cooperation between Israel and NATO and the Iranian nuclear threat. Former Fatah security chief Muhammad Dahlan said Wednesday that he was not surprised by the Hamas coup in the Gaza Strip and that he had warned various parties about the Islamic organization's intentions. Dahlan also accused Qatar and Iran of bankrolling Hamas in the amount of hundreds of millions of dollars. Israeli trade, industry and labor minister Eli Yishai proposed to shorten the work week and make Friday an additional official day of rest instead of Sunday, which is currently the day being proposed in Knesset legislation. The list of multimillionaires and billionaires in Israel continued to grow in 2006, according to a Merrill Lynch report on the wealthiest people in Israel. Leading the list are the Wertheimer family, Bank Apolim owner Sherry Arison, and billionaire Lev Levayev. Today on InfoLive, former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu speaks of the strategic threats facing Israel. Also on InfoLive, the Hamas Military Academy, where the abductors of Gilad Shalit trained. the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.